hi guys welcome to craft by doty it's been a while but we hope you all well last week we were not able to upload our weekly video because of a few technical issues that we had but we thank god they are finally resolved and now we are back on today's video we will be making picture frames from westwood we have got a huge pile of westwood in our workshop and that's what we will be using to build these frames so what we need to do is only to select pieces with roughly the same thickness. We then split these wooden pieces into 1.5 inch pieces using the table saw. Next, we will determine where we'll have the joints, then we go ahead and cut the edges at an angle of 45 degrees using the meter saw. These are the pieces that we need to create the frames. To ensure our rectangular frame is accurate, we use a tape to get the diagonal measurements of each frame. Remember at the beginning of the project we did not sand or plane the wooden pieces, we used them just as they were. It is at this point that we are going to sand them down using the belt sander. You can also use the normal sandpaper if you wish to. To finish the edges, we are using a 2mm sandpaper. Next, we are going to measure and mark the points where we will place the glass. We want the frames in black, so we will paint the first coat using Fevicryl acrylic paint. The reason why you use Fevicryl paints in most of our projects is because you can use a single tube for a variety of projects. Next, we are going to cut a groove using a router. This is where we are going to place the glass. We then paint the groove so that we can have uniformity. We decided to finish the frames with a coat of spray paint and this would help us achieve a more fine look. So let's go ahead and add the glass parts. We did have them pre-cut to fit the size of our frames. Next we will put our printouts in place. We did get these free printables on Pinterest and a link to that specific site is available in the description box below. The next step is to add pieces of cardboard so that they can hold the pictures tightly in place. For the back part of the frame, we will use pieces of plywood. We are using screws to hold it in place and you can just open and change the picture inside when need be.
So for the final step, we are attaching the frame holders, if that's the right name. And these are the ones that will be used to hold the picture on the wall. Finally, we are done and here is the result. We hope you enjoyed the project as much as we did. It would be totally unfair to finish this video without sending our sincere gratitude to all who subscribe to our channel. Thank you for 300 subscribers, hoping to get to 500 soon. Stay safe till we meet next time. See you!